In this video, you're going to learn more about the move tank block. So we've already used the move steering block in multiple programs, um, but now we're going to use another moving block called the move tank block. And we're going to learn um, that you could use the power left and power right to make this robot turn to the left or to the right. So let's go ahead and start our program and let's create the tank program using the move tank block as it shows right there. So we're going to have a new project program, open the program, and this is the move steering block, this is the move tank block. So we're going to bring out the move tank block. So what we have here is we have power settings for the left and right wheel of our robots. Uh, we have all the same options here. We could have on or off or on for seconds, degrees, or rotations. So let's leave it on, uh, I think, rotations now. Let's take a look. Yep, we have it for rotations. And we have one is 65, the other one is 35, and we just have one rotation. So we're going to put in 65 here. And 35 for the other one. So if one wheel has more power than the other one, uh, it's going to end up turning towards the weaker wheel or rotating towards the weaker wheel. So this is going to rotate to the right. Then we're going to put in a uh, musical note uh, for 0.5 seconds. And then we're going to use the uh, move steering block. We're going to have it move to the left for rotations in the move steering block. Power is 60. One rotation. So we have one rotation, one rotation. Move steering. Negative 25. Power is 60. All right, so here we have the the tank program. So we're going to file, save project as your name. Go ahead and save that. And then we're going to uh, download that to our robot and we'll see how that works. Here is the tank program. <laughs> now that we created the tank program and we learned how the tank block works, we're going to do the tank motor program. or the large motor program. So let's start and do the large motor program. We have a medium motor and we have a large motor. We're going to use a large motor. We're going to use this one B and this one C. We're going to do a new project program. This is a large motor. This is a medium motor. This is a large motor. These are actual uh, physically two different types of motor. These are the motors we're using for our wheels right now. So this is set at D, but we want to have a B, and we want to have one rotation at 50. And then uh, we want to say hello, which is already set there. And then we're going to have 
uh, negative 100 uh, power for C. We want to make sure that we turn uh, this wheel here to our C port. So we have our B and C port hooked up for our large motors for the wheels to turn. Uh, once we have this program finished, now I will test the program and I will show you how it works. And then you can go ahead and get started. Here is the large motor program.